Hello viewers, welcome to my channel nigerfoods.com. Today I'll be sharing with you one of African special, an indigenous fruit. As you're looking at it, do you know it? Have you seen it before? Let's take a closer look. Look at it here. Have you used it in your dishes? Or to prepare your local medicines or herbs? If you know this fruit, it's good that you know the fruit because it contains a lot. And if you don't know it, don't worry because I'm going to break it down and tell you a lot all about this fruit. So if you're as excited as I am, let's get started. This fruit's name is commonly known as Prekese. It has other names, which we will get to with time. It is a species of the pea family and is originally from West Tropical Africa. The plant has great demand in Ghana and other African countries like Nigeria. This fruit is part of Ghana's delicacies often used in palm nut soup. Like I said earlier, it has other indigenous names. Depending on the region you live in, it has different names, but the name Prekese from Ghana is the most popular and acceptable worldwide. It's even in Wikipedia. So the different tribes and nations around Africa have different names for this plant. For example, the Igbos from Eastern Nigeria call it Osho Osho. Osho Osho or Osakrisa. Why the Yorubas from the Western Nigeria refer to it as Aido? Going further, the English name for this medicinal fruit is Aidon fruit. The botanical name is Tetrapura tetraptera. This fruit is not only in Africa because research has shown that it can also be seen in Israel. This fruit can be longer than this and bigger than this. I've seen bigger ones, but I was only able to get this length when I got to the market. I bought this at Oyimbo Market in Ebutemeta, Lagos. Yes, and the good thing about this fruit is that it's very cheap. I bought this for 15 naira. If it's this hole here for 300 naira. While looking at this fruit, you notice that it's, it's shiny. It's naturally shiny. It looks polished. I didn't polish it. I've not washed it. This is straight from the market. And look at how it's looking. It looks glossy. See? And when you use it as an ingredient to your soup, It adds flavor and aroma to the soup. There's an interesting question about this fruit. Is it in the Bible? Is Prekese in the Bible? Is the name Prekese mentioned in the Bible? Is this fruit mentioned in the Bible? And the answer is yes. It's seen in the Bible. According to many people, the existence of Prekese in the Bible is very obvious in Exodus 30 verse 34. In this case, it is believed to be the fruit from God. 
hence many people hope that burning this particular plant fruit creates a strong odor that makes evil spirits to go away the nutritional fats of frekesen frekesen is also rich in iron potassium calcium zinc phosphorus steroids and other compounds phenolic compounds the many people are always asking the question is this fruit is Oshosha healthy is it consumable is it edible and the answer is yes if you watched my previous video on Arjun BC I used it It was one of the ingredients I used, especially for postpartum mothers. The health benefits of these iodine fruits. Firstly, it controls diabetes. The fruit extract is said to lower glucose levels. Plant also serves as a mosquito repellent. The pounds are rich in calcium, iron, and potassium. Especially when prepared as soup, it helps with milk production. You won't have problem with your milk flow. And besides, it helps to reinstate your blood, your lost blood. So you need it so much if you're a nursing mother. It can also be used to treat fever. The best way to use this plant is to, soak, is to soak it in warm water, then bathe using the infused water. It's said to significantly reduce fever and body temperature. It is now that we have covered the health issues of this fruit and how it can be great for anyone. Can you use it? When I look at this fruit, I'm happy. I'm so happy to note, note that you can get it in your local market. Let me break it, let's see how it looks. This is it. When broken, this is how it looks. 